My name is Yvonne Bodraham, properly known as Dana, and this is St. Anne. I always love farming. From a little girl, I always love farming. And I'm telling you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in farming. Yvonne Donna Budrum is one of nearly 60,000 women who are making a living from farming in Jamaica. Years ago, she was employed in the hotel industry. And then one day, her daughter fell ill, triggering a whole series of events that led her right back to her childhood passion, farming. As a child, Donna was attracted to the land and the smell of the soil on this rich, verdant hillside in Liberty St. Anne. She would keenly watch her father in the field and quickly caught on to his skills. Today, Donna is a full-time farmer who is adapting the traditional knowledge of her father into climate-smart farming techniques for even greater yields with support from the Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program. The program is making on-farm irrigation equipment more accessible to farmers implementing rainwater harvesting and drip irrigation systems, reducing soil erosion, improving soil fertility, delivering technical assistance and training to farmers, thereby increasing productivity and achieving food security. One of the goals of the National Development Plan talks about um, empowering um, the Jamaican citizenry. And an element of the program is focused on um, building capacity, not only of the farmers, but of the communities in which they operate. The livelihoods of many farmers and families depend on the agriculture industry, which remains the largest employer in Jamaica. Under the GOJ AFP program through the Ministry of Agriculture and the Rural Agriculture Development Authority, Donna is being introduced to climate smart farming methods. Well, the experience has been very good because my heel has been tripled probably four times since they came on board. They have taught me so many things in terms of um, how to fertilize, how to spray, what insect to look out for, and so on. They told us how to monitor the field in a W format. Well, that format is just to cover the whole area of the field. If you go in a doubler, you go like from one end down, then up again, then down, then up again. So you get to cover a whole area of the field. Exposure to farming best practices is reaping success for Donna, where she plants mainly carrots, cucumber, sweet pepper, tomato, and a first try at Irish potato. For the Irish Potato Program in the GOJ Adaptation Fund Program, I planted half an acre. I got help with half an acre. I have reaped so far one square, what they would call one square. And for that one square, I have taken up 1,100 pounds. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, the executing entity for the agriculture component of the GOJ AFP program, has made it easy for farmers like Donna to benefit from the program. The infrastructure's uh, profile has changed. And uh, as such, with the technology being applied now, it, it makes it much more of a business. Mm. It, you know, so young people now will understand that this is a business and it is good business. Well, the GOJ Adaptation Program is a good program. I encourage it, I love it because this is something that we as farmers need for years now. Because it helps us a lot as young farmer, you know, because it's not a lot of farmer right now can buy a bag of fertilizer or a tin of onion, you know, so this program is, is a help to us as farmers. So, you know, I would, I'm encouraging it, you know, and other farmers, I'm just encouraging them to come on board and, you know, work with the program. In the project design, we attempted to have a project which addresses vulnerable groups. And we want the project, wanted the project to be inclusive. And so by vulnerable groups, we wanted to ensure that it had its fair amount of women, 
that it had its fair amount of has its fair amount of youth that those who are elderly can be assisted to secure their livelihood and that persons with disabilities can also be assisted to benefit from the project as well so it's it, it is targeting a wide cross-section of groups in, in the community. Let's meet some other women from the community of Thompson Town in the hills of Clarendon. Sandra, Tamara, Stephanie, Norma, and Monica. Together with the men in their community, these women have formed a group and have given themselves the name Achievers Farmer Group. Together, they combine their skills and knowledge from the program to assist each other. Well, for me, um, the farmers group helped me a lot because we have like field days and all the gentlemen come and help me. Actually, I have a, um, an individual plot and it finished long ago because I have the group and it only costs us lunch. Mm. Also for social interaction as well. This is where we come and if we, if we are stressed, this is a place, this is our safe haven where we release our stress. So, for us, this is psychology as well. As it relates to the social aspect, this is one of the things that we are trying to encourage within the project, where they work together as a cooperative, in a cooperative effort, where we establish synergistic relationship. So we see the entire community is impacted on a holistic approach that, um, in that they come together to work to achieve and improve the, the resilience of the community. The Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program, in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries and its agencies, giving Jamaican farmers access to inputs, knowledge, and farming extension services, teaching them to adapt, produce, and renew the land for many bountiful harvests.